Hey, thanks for joining me on our channel, Life of the North 40. I'm Rick. Well, now that I've got this Ranger North Star Crew XP broken in, I needed to get this headache rack. And the reason I need this on my property is I do tons of hauling loads in this dump bed. Sometimes I'll have rounds of wood from cut trees all the way up to the top of the cab. That's a solid glass window in the back. This baby is a lifesaver for that back window. I'm going to show you in this video how to install it. It's quick and easy and you know how utility this thing really is so we're gonna get this baby installed today get that out looks like now Well, we got this baby unboxed and I've kind of looked everything over. A couple of things I wanted to talk to you about is this thing's already pre-assembled. It comes in two parts. It shows all the parts here. These are not really instructions on how to do this. It just basically shows you the parts list and where they all go. But it's pretty easy because I can see that there's only four bolt hex head bolts that need to go in and I can see that those will go right into the back side left and right of that glass window and then these are what Polaris calls their lock and ride system these are basically like little cams that go in and they'll go through this accessory and there's holes positioned on the back of your bed well these will go into two holes on each side locking it down on both sides of the bed as well so I'll have to assemble those and we'll, we'll see how that goes. But again, there's no instructions here. But what I did do is I got on the website before I came out here today to do this. And they do have under this accessory, they do have the instructions that actually walk you through step by step how to assemble this and put it in. You're going to see me do it. I may fumble my way through it, but uh, you can learn from me. But we'll just get this thing put in real quick, hopefully real quick. See how it goes. <sighs> So just kind of eyeballing this thing, getting it in place. You see that that piece will come down. Say you got this option and you didn't have the glass window. You just had the open back. You could lower that if you wanted to get through there for some reason and then have it up for protection. So let's get this thing in. One of the things I don't like is these stupid hex uh, bolts that they use. So luckily I had a set of those because I've dealt with Polaris stuff in the past. And so... I mean, I know that they secure pretty good, but it's always a pain. Um, they're non-typical or less common, I guess. So starting with, you can see here, I moved this a little bit more forward because I have to put a, you only got four hex bolt heads um, and two washers. You put a bolt and a washer on the backside and the stud sticks out this way so that when this thing is up, this rubber strap, securing strap, can come around and, and hook on to that stud and hold this in place or in the up position on both sides. So that's the first thing. And then you put a, we're going to put another one in here on each side of this foot uh, right here. And that's going to have to do with that lock and ride setup. We're going to start with step one. Shoulder screw and washer right into the fixed rack from the back side. All right, so you put the one, and these have that standoff for that securing band, which is cool. So one washer and the bolt in here. Get that baby hand tight and snug it up. And then we're going to go to the other side, and that's really all you do here. If you guys have followed our channel for a while, you know our buddy Murph here is always chewing on a deer bone or an elk bone. He's got a knack for finding them, and he's just enjoying himself right now, crunching as I'm filming. All right, this side, another bolt, hex head bolt with washer. The other two bolts do not have washers for that application, and we're going to do that next. We got those two forward-facing bolts and washers in. This is going to go up like this. 
And then with this rubber deal, we're gonna pull it over. Man, that is pretty snug. You gotta give that a good yank. Be prepared to give that a good yank. There we go, that seat's nice. So there's that rubber toggle that stretches right over that back stud and seats that nice. So we'll go over and do the other rubber pull. You can see it's not stretched around yet. So we'll get that thing attached. There's one little hole you gotta get that stretched over is what you're trying to do. There we go. That's harder than you think, but you want that thing to be tight so this thing doesn't bounce and rattle, even though it's nice and seated. So that's why it's getting tight. We got rubber here, we got rubber here. Okay, so the last thing we do before we do the lock and ride assemblies is just put one right in here on each side of this front bracket flange here. Okay. And there's even a rubber, a rubber raised area here and over there for when this is down, this sits right on that rubber too. So that's cool, they did a lot of things right. This is nice and powder coated. Looking really sturdy and solid right now. Pretty, pretty substantial. Thanks for watching. And if you made it this far in the video, please give us a good like and subscribe. It sure helps us out. And we like creating good content from real users of equipment like this. If you have any comments, list them below and we'll be sure to answer those. So now, I'm gonna figure out how to put these together. I have not worked with these things before. First time using lock and ride. I've seen a lot of their accessories for these beds in the past. I had another Ranger before this. I think you guys, if you watched our channel for a while, know I just recently traded it in and got this upgrade. And I literally wore that out. I mean, that thing was a great vehicle. Um, did everything I asked it to do, moving tons of material on our property, um, slash, you name it, heavy stuff from one place to another, helped us build our cabin, plow snow with it every winter. Anyway. Looks like these cylinders here can go inside of these side holes. These holes here, these will be locking down inside of here and a cam and then lock uh, from the top. So we're gonna get these babies put together, see how it works. Getting started here, you got this piece here, I'll give you this big rubber stopper that goes from the threaded side up the steel washers in the bottom. There's two washers, a nylon and a steel. The steel is coming from the bottom. You're probably gonna find out why here shortly. Then from there, there's a securing nut. Goes on here, and I'm gonna find out how far that cinch is down here in a second, just to show you how those are going on. This is gonna go over the top of that. This little metal here is gonna go through a hole here in the frame so that's gonna and then that'll go over the top and then this is gonna cinch down which is super cool all right so it looks like i need a wrench for this i never want to follow directions but i'm so glad i printed these directions off because this was a little more complicated than i thought but it's super cool that once you see how it works you have the nut that goes on the bottom of the rod that goes in each lock and ride cam or piston whatever you want to call this so to tighten this i'm just gonna stick screwdriver in through here there's a machine hole through here for the screw that'll go over the top of this lockdown that'll slide on this vinyl washer on the top of the frame this will go inside or under the frame in the bed in the holes so let's snug this up so this is a nice little lock nut nice lock nut there's one so I'll, let's see how we install one of these so I think the best way to get this done is assemble. I'm going to get all four of these assembled. I'm going to pull, pull them through 
and get the top you gotta mount the top stuff right to keep them in place so and then i'll just have to lower this right in position with all four of these right into the holes should be able to cinch them down and again this will go through the bottom machine holes of the frame then from the top the vinyl washer and then this screw will go through this machine hole with the lever so it'll lock down from the top that's going to stay for now anyway all right <laughs> uh, it's going to stay for now anyway it didn't stay so those have to go through these holes here and here and on the other side so i'm coming from the bottom i have my vinyl washer here get that through vinyl washer it's always beneficial if you got the right tools <laughs> when you start it did say in the instructions phillips screwdriver so i got a couple of those i don't want to over tighten but i can get those going a lot quicker it's a small little screw that goes through that cam deal right there but it's got to go through this cinch deal for a knuckle dragger like me the finger dexterity there we go is a bit of a challenge all right so now that we've got this attached with that small screw through the top of the rod that goes up through here now we need to put on this little guy oh boy that's going to be fun to get in there Hopefully. Well, because this is such a tight little space in here, now I've now went from trying to do this with a normal box wrench, then to a ratchet that I thought fit, and now I'm down to vice grips. So that's gonna be how this is gonna go. Okay, I don't want to strip that. Let's check tightness. Let's see how it is. There we go. Uh, so these are basically going to create a suction like effect with the top of this seal. Be like a little suction cup. All right, now we got all of our lock and ride deals in place. We should just drop right in. Or should, but should isn't. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. So these are the lock and ride levers that cause that expansion in the cylinder that goes into those existing holes. I have two of them in each corner. And you see that just slides right into those holes. I'm just pulling it up. So you've got the cylinder here, cylinder here. That is what Polaris calls their lock and ride system. So it just pops in and you seat these and just clip them down. Man, I am really happy with that. It's good and sturdy. It can come right out if I want it to come right out. This can lay down as well. And then these rubber boots, well, these rubber poles will cinch over these other studs down here. So that is gonna definitely protect that window uh, and that back cab from getting shattered out as easily. Um, I'm gonna have to watch sticks and limbs, but big rounds of wood are gonna be stopped now with this. So pretty happy with that. Let's see how that bed tilts out. Nice. Tilts right with it. Super sturdy still. No worries. That seat's nice. I bought a lot of Polaris equipment and accessories uh, for all my Polaris vehicles in the past and this one. Pros on this piece of equipment 
it comes in one piece in a big box, except for your lock and ride individual parts that you saw me assemble. Those are a downside, having to mess with those little nuts and get them together, but that's just part of the, the game. You gotta put those together to get them into the frame itself. Other than that, the whole frame is ready to go in a big box. Another downside is the box didn't come with installation instructions. It's not that very, it's not that difficult. If you're fairly mechanical or fairly handy, you'll figure it out. But the instructions are on the line and you print them off their PDF and you got to print them off on your printer. And that's what I did. So, so those are a couple cons. The price, everything's high now. I think the price is probably appropriate. Um, if you're a military guy or prior military, you do get a 10% discount on accessories, which I do. Uh, that's a pro. So I think it is sturdy and it's already been a benefit to me. I've already loaded a bunch of firewood rounds up and scrap up to the top of this cab with no issues to my back windshield. I hope you found my video informative and helpful. If you're looking to buy one of these headache racks, now you can see how it mounts and how it works and how sturdy it really is. If you like this video, be sure to check this video out right here, which is my full review after I bought and broke this 2023 Polaris Ranger Crew XP1000 North Star Edition in. And I talked through all the features and everything that I personally think pros and cons about this vehicle. We'll see you next time.